here. Uh, we want to know who the source is and how do you know that this person does not necessarily have an ax to grind with this particular person? Uh, the reason I know that is because I actually saw some emails uh, between the leadership that happened on the day that the Planned Parenthood decision was announced. So I have proof that the person was telling the truth. Uh, there's no ax to grind. Unfortunately, this is a case of Coleman lying to the public about their intentions, and people are furious about it. And you saw these emails. We have not been able to see them. Um, mm -hmm. What specifically does it say? What is so damning? Uh, basically, it just shows that Karen Handel, uh, who was recently hired as the vice president of public affairs for Komen, is, uh, is handling and, and driving the decision behind uh, defunding Planned Parenthood and also driving the, uh, the PR effort to sort of clean up what happened and to pretend like it wasn't about politics. Uh, the emails show that d despite the fact that everyone at Coleman is claiming that, K that Karen Handel had nothing to do with it, in fact, she had everything to do with it and she was the sole uh, creator of, of the strategy. Now, uh, Susan G. Komen has a board. Um, it, mm -hmm. it seems really unusual that one person could make a decision decision like this that that could affect this organization so much was the board in support of the organization of, of the decision the board did have to sign off on the decision uh, and I spoke with one member of the board on Friday who said that he takes full blame for the for the board signing off on it and and Karen while she while she wrote the criteria uh, she did have to pass it through leadership and then through the board uh, so so this was a you know, this was a combined effort to get this passed, but she was the one who, who wrote the rules in the first place. Do you think Karen Handel is going to lose her job over this? I do. I think there's a lot of internal pressure as well as external pressure for her to resign. If she doesn't resign, I have a feeling that she'll be forcibly ousted. It doesn't seem like anybody's a big fan of her right now. You know, I saw um, a piece online, I believe it was an op-ed piece, that was saying that now the Susan G. Komen Foundation is going to be looked at um, and with more scrutiny, right? Um, mm -hmm. And that one of the examples that was given was that Komen gave $7.5 million to Penn State's Medical Center. And, you know, one of the reasons why Planned Parenthood lost their funding was because no um, organization that was under federal investigation could actually receive any funds. So do you think that Susan G. Komen is going to be under more scrutiny now? Or do you think that if this woman gets fired, that this will, this, this will make folks happy with that decision? This is not going to blow over anytime soon, even if Karen Handel leaves. I think what people are most upset about, aside from the de actual defunding of Planned Parenthood, they're upset about being lied to. And they were lied to multiple times last week by Coleman's PR department, unfortunately. And by Nancy Brinker herself went on Andrea Mitchell on Friday and just bold-faced lied. Uh, so I think that they're going to have to operate with more transparency going forward. And they're going to have to apologize to the public for uh, not being straightforward.